In this video, we'll be investigating parallel and perpendicular lines. We'll warm up with this question. Graph each line. y equals 3 quarters x minus 5, and y equals 3 quarters x plus 2. So I'll graph the first equation using red, and the second equation using green, just so we can differentiate between them. Remember when graphing, it's easiest to plot the y-intercept first. So my first y-intercept is at negative 5. And then use the slope to find a second point. So up 3 over 4. So there's that slope of 3 quarters. Up 3 over 4. And then we connect those two points with a straight line. And there's the graph for y equals 3 quarters x minus 5. My second equation, y equals 3 quarters x plus 2. I plot the y-intercept first. And then I use the slope to find another point. Slope is 3 quarters, so again, up 3 over 4. And I connect those two points with a straight line. You should notice something about these two lines that I've graphed. Okay, if you look at them, you should notice that they're parallel to each other. They look like they're never going to cross. So each line is parallel. Do you notice anything about the equations of these two parallel lines? You should notice that the slope of each line is the same. Slopes are equal. You should also notice that the y-intercepts are different. So we have two lines that are parallel to each other with different y-intercepts. So we can just summarize by saying that parallel lines have the same slope but different y-intercepts. Let's try another example. Let's graph each line. Our first equation, which I'll graph in red, will be the line y equals 5 halves x plus 4. The second equation, which I'll graph in green, y equals negative 2 over 5x minus 3. These are not going to be parallel lines because their slopes are not the same. So starting with my red graph, I plot the y-intercept at 4 on the y-axis. From there I go up 5 and over 2 to find my second point. Then I connect the lines with a straight line as best I can. And I'm going to extend this just a little bit. So there's my line y equals 5 halves x plus 4. The second line y equals negative 2 fifths x minus 3. Start with the y-intercept at negative 3 and then using the slope of negative 2 fifths I go down 2 and over 5 to find my second point. I connect those two points with a straight line and again let me extend this line just a little bit because we're interested in the point because we're interested in the point where the two lines cross 
Okay, let's take a look at that point where the two lines cross. Doesn't it look like they're crossing at a 90 degree angle? There's a special word for that. Lines that meet each other at 90 degrees are said to be perpendicular. So any line that crosses at 90 degrees are perpendicular. Is there any way without graphing that we could have been able to figure out that these two lines would have been perpendicular? Let's look at the slope of both of our lines. The slope of my red line is 5 halves. The slope of my green line is negative 2 fifths. Look at these two slopes. You should notice that both slopes have the same numbers in them, 5 and 2. One of the slopes is negative. Even though they have the same values, same numbers to make them up, they're in different spots. And this has a special name too. This is something called the negative reciprocal. Notice how if I take the slope in red and if I flip it, if I swap places with the numerator denominator and then make one negative, I get negative two-fifths. That's what taking the negative reciprocal means. So if my slope is negative seven-sixths and I want to find a slope of a line that's perpendicular, I need to take the negative reciprocal which means flipping this fraction and multiplying the entire fraction by negative one. Two negatives together become a positive. So if I had two different lines, one that is a slope of negative seven-sixths and another that has a slope of six over seven, I know that those two lines are perpendicular because their slopes are negative reciprocals of each other. Again, to find the negative reciprocal, you take that number, that slope, you flip it or you change places with the rise and the run, and then you make, and then you multiply by negative one to create the negative reciprocal. So perpendicular lines have slopes that are negative reciprocals. Let's try an example or two. Let's find an equation that is perpendicular to the line y equals negative one-half x plus six and goes to the point five and negative seven. So remember, perpendicular means the slope is the negative reciprocal. So if the slope of one line is negative one-halves, the perpendicular slope would be this number flipped, so negative two over one, all multiplied by negative one. The two negatives become positive, so a line that is perpendicular to y equals negative one-half x plus six has a slope of two. And again, we're always working with that equation, y equals mx plus b. So I sub my value of slope into that equation. I have to go through the point five and negative seven. So I sub that into my equation for x and y. I get negative seven equals 25 plus b. Bring the 25 to the other side, it becomes negative. Simplifying, I get negative 32 equals b. So my line that is perpendicular to the given equation and goes through the point 5 and negative 7 is the equation y equals 2x minus 32. 
And one last example, find a line parallel to 3x minus 4y plus 7 and goes through the same x-intercept as 2x plus y minus 16 equals 0. Parallel means same slope. So if I look at 3x minus 4y plus 7 equals 0, I need to figure out the slope of this line. So I will solve for y. Now I have a negative 3 divided by a negative 4 in my slope. The two negatives cancel each other out. So the slope of the line that I'm going to calculate is 3 quarters. It's a parallel line, so it'll have the same slope as this equation. It's going through the same x-intercept as 2x plus y minus 16 x-intercepts happen when y equals 0. So if I make y equals 0, then I can solve for x in my standard form equation. And I get an x-intercept of 8. And remember, that's the point 8 and 0. So now in my equation y equals mx plus b, I know the slope, 3 quarters. I know a point to sub in, 8 and 0. So I'll sub that point in for x and y. And then I'll solve for b. Multiplying this fraction, 3 quarters by 8, I get 24 over 4. plus b. 24 over 4 reduces to 6. Bringing the 6 to the other side, it becomes negative. So my equation would be y equals 3 quarters x minus 6. That's an equation that's parallel to the original equation and goes through the same x-intercept as 2x plus y minus 16 equals 0.